What's up guys? In this lesson we're going to talk about subdomains and they are defined by Google as like subdomain and internet domain which is part of the primary domain. So like for example you have godaddy.com instead of the www can make it uh, support.godaddy or support any website you'd like. So for example we have our website zineacademyonline.com and this is a primary domain we purchased from Bluehost or any hosting service and we have that subdomain blog.designacademyonline and actually you can install any kind of CMS on that subdomain like WordPress or any other thing and treat it as a totally different website or complete for your website or you can test anything on that subdomain so some people might make it support might make it test and you can make many subdomains for the primary domain you have and you can treat them differently and one of them could have Joomla and the other have WordPress and it's so simply done but you have to bear in mind that the SSL certificate will not be applied on the subdomain you can see this is the main domain HTTPS the subdomain will not be secured and if you want to make all your primary domain and subdomain secured you have to purchase wildcard SSL certificate from Bluehost or any hosting uh, service you're following. So how to make subdomain? You're gonna go to your C button at Bluehost and you're gonna press on domains and then you're gonna press on subdomain. We can we can call this one for example uh, calligraphy because this is a big part of our design academy online. Press on create then Bluehost will be creating our subdomain if you can wait for a little bit then you're gonna see a screen telling you that they, are, they created your subdomain as you can see your subdomain calligraphy.designacademyonline is has been created return to subdomains if you want to install anything on that for example wordpress or anything you're gonna to go to your wordpress tools you can also redirect that subdomain to another website or to your primary website or to any other thing from the subdomain banner we had now you can select your website from here we have blog and we have design academy and you can make new install here are the subdomains we have and here is our latest one and for site title give it any name you would like to uh, admin username you can put any username you would like and password and your admin email and then you're gonna install WordPress on that domain but if you have your website hosted on Bluehost but you are using uh, Cloudflare for quick DNS and to make your website faster you have to go to Cloudflare and create new A record and C name for that it's so easy to do that but it's gonna take about 12 hours or maybe from 4 hours to 12 hours so you're gonna go to Cloudflare and choose your domain for example this is our domain and you're gonna press on DNS and if you remember that screen before when we hosted our website on the Cloudflare you can start adding new A record and C name for that new domain for example we have calligraphy now okay so like blog is added and we have uh, mail so we're gonna need to create A record and C name for that new subdomain uh, to point it to our hosting uh, service so like for example we're gonna copy that IP from uh, your primary domain name in here support this is new one from design academy online or your domain name you're gonna find it in here I'm copying it because it's the same number you can copy it from that one and you're gonna paste it in here and here you're gonna call it like that new one is calligraphy dot design academy online.com then we're gonna add record now it's been added to our Cloudflare and we're gonna create a new C name and C name we're gonna type it like this www dot your subdomain name for example calligraphy in here here you're gonna type your domain name design academy online com okay then you're gonna add record and now you have C name added for calligraphy and a record added 
and also if you have any troubles in storing WordPress or any other CMS on your subdomain you can contact Bluehost support and that actually what happened with me when I was trying to install it on blog I had that error and I contacted them and they told me that I they needed to give a permission for my files and it worked like instantly and then when you're gonna install your WordPress to your new subdomain it's gonna look like that like a totally new website with that extension and you can start building your website on that subdomain and you can have two websites or even test anything you would like on that website that's it for our lessons that was Khalil Ibrahim with you see you next lesson have a great day bye